In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down from of old, by slavery beneath the yoke of sin, may be set free by the newness of the long-awaited nativity of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I shall raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they gave him, the Lord our justice. Therefore, the days will come, said the Lord, when they shall no longer say, as the Lord lives, who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but rather, as the Lord lives, who brought the descendants of the house of Israel up from the land of the north and from all the lands to which I banished them. They shall again live on their own land. The word of the Lord. God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judge judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. He lives for the poor. He, will, he shall save. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds, and blessed forever be his glorious name. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
We've been hearing in this Advent season the, the plan, God's plan of salvation unfolding for humanity. It's a perfect plan. It is. It's a perfect plan. Only God can do this uh, in the messiness of human nature, human brokenness. With things, uh, with God, all things are possible. And that's where we continue to hear this story unfolding, in, especially in this Advent season. In today's uh, readings, uh, St. Matthew, the true greatness, one of the authors write, consists of following the will of God rather than seeking my own way or my own comfort, the easy way. I'll do it my way. Immediately, we heard uh, in today's uh, gospel from St. Matthew, uh, St. Joseph did as the angel of the Lord had com commanded him. Uh, this is not easy. We know that, that in the situation he was in, it wasn't easy, it wasn't a comfortable choice. Nonetheless, St. Joseph moves to act right away. He doesn't uh, hesitate. And, it's, I, and I always miss this. I always focus on our Blessed Mother and her yes. But you know what? St. Joseph said yes in the quietness of his heart. I always forget that. And that's beautiful when a man can say that to God's plan of salvation. Yes, I'll be your disciple. I'll listen to you. I'll follow you. That's beautiful for a man to say that. He doesn't have to yell it out. Just in the quietness of our, uh, the man's heart. And thank God he did say yes answering God's call to that perfect plan of salvation. None of this would have worked. Uh, thank God our Blessed Mother Mary and St. Joseph said yes. And so that help, keeps helping us. You know, we heard way back, well, not that far. <laughs> this time goes fast. Advent always goes fast. That first weekend, that key word, prepare. We're preparing. We're doing well. We're here this morning. We're still preparing for, well, well it's a few days and we'll be long, really, Christmas. Oh, guess what? I found a litany. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's a very short one, but it, it's going to help us, uh, and especially this, this next week, it's going to be so busy. It's hard to focus, you know, because a lot of people are already celebrating Christmas, pretty much. Uh, but we're, we're still preparing. So it's a, it's a beautiful little short uh, litany. It's called an ad, Advent litany. It's just going to help us the rest of the this week coming up, this upcoming week, just to stay focused on that one word, prepare. Uh, this is not, we're not in Christmas yet, but we're preparing for it. So we'll pray. It's, it's a short one. It's a beautiful one. Just listen to uh, some of the prayers in there, and it'll help us stay focused in, in this, the rest of the Advent season. In the name of the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now, our responses will be, come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Come, Lord Jesus. You are light in our spiritual darkness. Come, Lord Jesus. Son of God, save us from our sins. Come, Lord Jesus. Son of Mary, deepen our love. Come, Lord Jesus. St. Joseph, teaching us to say yes to God's will. Come, Lord Jesus. Bring hope into the lives of all people. Come, Lord Jesus. Give your peace to all nations. Come, Lord Jesus. Be the joy of all who love you. Come, Lord Jesus. Bring unity among all who believe in you. Come, Lord Jesus. Bless us as we gather here in your holy, powerful, eternal name. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, stay with us always. Come, Lord Jesus. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Let us pray. May Christ give us his peace and joy every day, and let us share them with others. All peace and glory are his forever and ever. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, Sacred Heart of Jesus, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Together we stand looking to God, the Father who knows our needs. We entrust these prayers to him this morning. We pray for the church. May God purify her through authentic, selfless leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray uh, to the Holy Spirit to touch and move those hearts that need to go to confession today or, or the, the rest of uh, next week. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For civil leaders, may the Lord bless them in their service and grant them wisdom and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all those families who are suffering just difficult relationships right now uh, in their lives, may God's loving mercy work in and through, their, through them to bring about healing and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. For those gathered here this morning, may Christ continue to open our hearts to receive him more fully this, uh, throughout this Advent season. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all those who have died. May they rejoice in God's presence in heaven with all the angels and saints. And uh, we especially pray for, uh, for our deceased family members. And I was just thinking this morning, and we want to pray for, I know it's, I guess I could say, uh, we want to pray for those who are going to die on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Uh, you know, we're just praying, whoever that is, whatever that's going to happen, they're just that they're ready. What joy they'll have on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day to die those days. Let us pray to the Lord. And then just in the quietness of our hearts, our own personal prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father this morning. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray our Mass intention this morning uh, is listed for Jim and Carol Hossman. Let us pray to the Lord. God of all hope, receive these prayers and answer them according to, your, your, to our need and your holy purpose. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice to be offered to you this morning, O Lord, make us acceptable to your holy, powerful, eternal name, that we may merit for all eternity to be the companions of Christ, by who, whose death our own mortality was healed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother Mary longed for him, with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exalted in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions and wealth, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, 
we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May we receive your loving mercy in the midst of your temple, O Lord, and show fitting honor to the coming solemnities of our eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. This will help us stay focused. For me, too, I need it. Uh, through the rest of this Advent season, as we head into Christmas. We have three blessings after each one will respond to amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his loving mercy. Amen. May he turn his countenance toward you and give you his eternal peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ.